We're going to go over how to instantiate an effect, and we're back in the project with Megan's vocal. The vocal we're working with is on track 16, track 15, audio 1, group. Track 15. So I like to work from the mixer, so I'm going to hit Command 2. Now in, True Colors Acoustic Copy, Mixer, Tracks, Window, Audio 1, Partially Hidden, Channel Strip Group. And once again, you see that puts us on the right channel strip. So I'm going to interact with the channel audio strip, one. hit VO at home to jump to Setting the top. Button. And as you navigate with your right arrow from the settings area. Off. Gain reduction meter, switch. So if you view space on that, it will load Logic's stock compressor. Off. Equalizer thumbnail button. And if you view space on that, it will load the EQ. It will load the compressor or the channel EQ onto the next available audio effects slot. Now if I continue navigating here. Mono. Channel input button. Audio plugin button. This is where you can load up different audio plugins. View space. Recent. Dim. First, it's going to show you plugins I loaded recently. Channel EQ, sub pen man, submit ton of forge, BX underscore rock amp, roots, amps and pedals, sub delay, submit distortion, sub dynamics, submit EQ, sub menu. And then you get to these different categories like dynamics, EQ, filter, sub -menu, filter imaging, sub -menu, imaging, metering, sub -menu, metering. So you have all these different categories. So I'm going to go back to the EQ category. Multi modulate metering, imaging, sub filter, sub EQ, sub menu. And select EQ. EQ sub menu five items, channel EQ, sub -menu. And there's a channel EQ. If I hit return, it's going to load it up on the track. Channel EQ, audio one, audio one, dialogue. All right, so we got the EQ loaded up here, and if I navigate across the EQ, Tool bar, button, bypass, check, checkbox. You see, you can uh, see whether it's bypassed or not. Just a note to be aware of in Logic, when you're in the plugin window, the bypass button is mislabeled. So, toolbar, bypass, check, checkbox. Right now it says bypass check. That means the plugin is actually enabled. This is only the case when you're looking at the bypass status inside of the plugin window itself. If you're looking at it on the channel script, it does work correctly. Bypass being checked means it's bypassed, and bypass uh, not being checked means the plugin is active. Factory default, pop up button. And this is where you can choose different presets. So I'm going to view space on this. Menu, 20 setting, dim. And undo, dim, redo, dim. Include plot next right, previous left, copy, paste, load, ellipse, save, dim. And you see you can save your presets and stuff like this, but I'm going to hit VON. 07 EQ tools, submenu. All right, so I'm going to view up arrow. 06 mastering, submenu. These are different subcategories of presets. 05 voice, sub, 05 voice, submenu 27 items, backing vocals. All right, so we got backing vocals, brassy vocals, brassy vocals bright, vocal. bright vocals. Let's try bright vocals here. Closing menu, closing menu, bright vocal, pop up button. So I just selected a preset. Three beats, one tick. With a sad, Don't be Four bars, three beats, and if you want to hear what this preset sounds bypass, like, check, check I just feel left arrow to bypass. Uncheck, I'm going to uncheck that. Four bars, three beats, one tick. With a sad, Four bars, so three that's beats, the one dry tick. vocal. Check, bypass, check box. Turn the preset back on. Check the bypass button. Four bars, three beats, one tick. With a sad, Bars, so you see it's a little bit brighter. Right vocal. Pop up now, button. the other thing in Logic is you can use left and right brackets to go through the presets. So I can just play this Four bars, three beats, one tick. With a sad, and press right bracket. And these are rather one subtle tick. differences, but if I move off of this, Media, clear vocals. Pop up button. you see we're on clear vocals if I view space. Many, 23 items. 07806-05 Go back to voice. voice. Submit grassy vocal. Bright vocal. So you you see we started on bright vocals. Choir EQ. Choir EQ. Choir overhead mics. Choir overhead. Classic vocal. Classic. Clear vocals. And you see we're on clear vocals and that's the one we ended on. We just use the right bracket to go forward through the presets and we landed on clear vocals. Closing menu. All right. So if we continue navigating through this window. Previous button. Next button. So you can use these previous and next button to also go to the next and previous preset. I'm just going to keep navigating here. Compare. Check view. Menu button. This view menu. For best accessibility, you usually want to make sure that controls view is checked. So if you view space menu. on this. Check mark. Controls. Um, and you can check controls view. There is an option in settings for that that is set to controls view for plugins by default. Check mark. Control. All right. I'm going to continue navigating. Link. Uncheck. Check table. Low cut on slash off. Check. This table is where you can get to the plugin parameters. In table. Low cut on slash off. Check check box. You can check or uncheck each of these parameters to turn them on or off. The channel EQ as a low cut, a high cut, a low shelf, a high shelf, and four peak bands of EQ that you can adjust. You can disable each of those if you don't need them. All right, so low cut frequency, 144 hertz segment zero slider, 28% slider. You see this preset adjust a low cut. I'm gonna play this. Four bars, three beats, one tick. Four bars. And you can change the low cut, interact with the slider. In slider. Via right arrow. 154 hertz. 
164 hertz, 174 hertz, 184, 190, 208 hertz. And if I play, four bars, three beats, one tick. You see, I rolled more of the low end up there. Auto All slider. right. So stop interacting with that. Auto. Low cut slow. 24 decibel slash October pop up button. And if you want to change the cutoff, menu six up 36. Can view space on this. 48. 48. Select up to 48. 48. You Low. see, this is going to roll off more to lows. Four bars, three beats, one tick. Four bars, three beats, and one tick. you can go Menu six items check mark. 48. as gentle 30, 28, 20, six. as a 6 dB per octave. Press slope. 6. Low cut slope. 6 decibel slash. Off. 4 bars, 3 beats, 1 tick. So you see that's not as drastic as a roll off. All right. So let's instantiate another plugin on the track. So I'm going to just do Command W to close this. Now in True Colors Acoustic Coffee Mixer Tracks Window Audio Plugin Button. So you see off solo switch um, on the track here. So I'm gonna jump back up to the top of the track. I'm gonna be a home button off gain reduction. Meter. I'm just switch. gonna hit this to bring up the compressor. Audio one audio one and dialogue. You see audio this one. opens up the compressor and Full same deal. Bypass Ch factory default pop up. I button. can VO space on this. Twenty three items. 06 compressor by type submenu. I just did VO end to jump to the end of this menu. 06 compressor by type submenu. I'm going to VO up arrow now. 05 compressor tools sub 04 voice submenu. Voice once again. 04 voice submenu 32 items bright vocal. Uh, so let's go to bright vocal preset. Pre closing menu. Clo and we can play here. Four bars, three beats, one tick. And same deal, I can use right bracket. Hard to take courage in a world full of people. You can lose sight of it all. The darkness inside you can make you feel so. So you see, I just right bracketed through a bunch of presets. Fet vocal zero one. Pop up button. And I can left bracket through them. So if Four I play. Left brackets move me in the Don't opposite direction. Oh, I it's hard to take courage in a world full of people. You can lose sight of it all. The darkness inside you can make you feel so small. So, four bars, three beats, one tick. Bypass, check, check, classic rock. Button. So those are how you can move through presets with left and right bracket. So those are two different ways you can instantiate plugins. So now if I close this window again with Command Five W. Now in true mixer toolbar mixer layout area. So if I interact with the mixer, mixer layout, layout area, area, nineteen items audio one partially hidden. Interact Gen with audio one audio again. One, partially hidden. Once again, jump to the top of the channel script. Setting button on zero on mono channel input button. I'm using VO right arrow to navigate here. Insert bar button. So you see, it puts an insert bar. The channel EQ group before each plugin. So that's the channel EQ that we instantiated first. Insert bar, button. Then another insert bar. The compressor, group. And then the compressor. So if you want to put a plugin in between the EQ and the compressor, insert bar, button. you can do that. Um, or if you want to channel EQ, group, insert bar, button. Put something in front of the EQ, you can do that. So if I view a space on this insert bar. Menu tw recent dip, comp channel ton of BX amps delay distort dynamic EQ submenu. Dynamics. Go down to dynamics. Dynamics. Adaptive limiter. Compressor. DSR2. Let's drop a DSR on here because DSR2. Audio one. Dialogue. Audio one. You probably want to DS vocals as well. All right, so I'm going to press Command W to close this. Now in True Colors Acoustic Copy. There we go. Mixer layout area. In Mixer layout area. Veer vocals partially hit audio audio one partially hidden. All right, interact with this. In audio one on solo switch setting Jump button. Jump to the top again. On, on mono input button insert bar button DSR two groove. And now you see there's an insert bar before DSR insert, bar, button, insert channel EQ groove channel EQ insert bar but compressor groove. All right, now the other option you have in Logic are what's called patches, and patches are once again, entire signal chains. So that gives you a great starting point for instantiating effects. So if I close the mixer here, now in, true let's color. go back to a track header. Track 16, beer, track 15, audio one, groove. And now what we can do is I'm going to go into the library. So I'm going to stop interacting with the track header. Auto, 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 inspector, group, control bar, toolbar. And you see the library is not visible here. So I'm going to hit Y to bring it up. Library on. Library, groove. All right, there's a library. Interact with in it. Horizontal splitter. And sounds, once again, you can field. search for a patch here, library, browser. and then you can browse through the patches here. Now, because we're on an audio track, it's going to give us patches geared towards different types of audio. So if I interact In with library, this, drums and percussion, voice, performance patches, studio instrument, acoustic guitar. 
electric guitar and experimental. So you see these are all different patches. So the guitar patches are probably going to have amp designer as part of the patch. Electric guitar and bass, acoustic guitar, studio instruments, performance patches, voice. And voice. Let's go through these. Logic Pro, right vocal, column two of two. Every time you land on a patch, if you play, you'll hear that patch. Four bars, three beats, one tick. With a sad Feel down arrow. So you see there's a lot more reverb on this patch. It's hard to take courage in a world Classic vocal. full of people. You can love it all. The darkness inside you can make you feel so small. And you probably want to preview these with the music. Toggle channel strip solo off. You with a sad I Dance vocal. Don't be discouraged, oh, I realize It's hard to take courage In a world full of people You can lose sight of it all Four bar, four and beats, one tick. if I were to go back to the mixer, I'm going to open that with command 2 again. Now in, true colors, acoustic, copy, mixer, tracks, window, audio 1, partially hidden, channel strip group. And look at the channel strip here. In audio one, partially. Once again, VO home to jump to the top. Setting, button, on, off, mono, chat, input, button, insert bar, button, deesser two, groove. So it's got a deesser. Insert bar, button, channel EQ, groove. And a channel insert EQ. Insert bar, compressor, groove. Compressor, insert bar, exciter, groove. Exciter. Insert bar, but tape delay, groove. Tape delay. So you see, it actually started out pretty similar to how I had mine with a deesser, uh, EQ, and compressor, but um, you know, I didn't add a exciter or tape delay or anything like that to the track insert and bar, also button, channel EQ, groove, audio plugin, button. another channel eq at the end two, groove. and then you see this is sent into a bus as minus well point three. Send not. minus 20.3 20 20 20 20 so probably Send two not. different reverb sends there so that's how you can use patches to find quick starting points or you can load up individual effects and go through them yourself